water is not just a commodity to be used. It's a, it's a magnet for development. People want to be close to the water. They want to be close to fresh water and clean water in particular. And so the Harbor, Harbor District down there has done a really great job um, of attracting people down there with, this, again, the School of Freshwater Sciences as an, as an anchor. Um, so a lot is happening down there. And I just it really shows that's what the future of Milwaukee is, is in clean, fresh water. I don't care if you're, uh, you know, a lawyer or a history major or a policy person uh, or, a, you know, a mud scientist like me, like me. There's something in this field. There's a career for you. And it's an important career because these are big challenges. And, and, I, and I'm very rewarding because these problems are not going to go away. And there are jobs. The the water sector is the fastest growing sector of the world economy. Here in Milwaukee, uh, one of our customers is the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewage District. So when Jones Island cleans our sewage, turns it into valuable millorganite, and then discharges clean water into Lake Michigan, it does so because it operates with Rockwell equipment. Um, in a similar vein, uh, the Milwaukee Water Works where we get our drinking water from, operates by utilizing Rockwell's technology, monitoring pipe pressure, intakes, safety, uh, measuring the quality and the quantity of the water is all done through Rockwell technology. My name is Wanisha Smith and I came upon Reflow while working um, a summer internship with Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewage District. So I'm the administrative coordinator for, coordinator for Reflow, but I also help out in different areas, working with green schools, helping schools remove asphalt and incorporate more green space, um, outdoor education and outreach and increasing knowledge about how green space can be used in schools. I also help with um, our forming program. That's our teen group. We have um, teens that we um, are educating on green infrastructure and construction and different career pathways between construction and green infrastructure. Um, they, during the school year, are working on creating and designing structural pieces that help educate schools. And they're also learning about um, green infrastructure and, and construction projects at the same time. All the projections I've seen say there's a shortage of people going into this field. So not only is it, you know, an important and rewarding career, but there are jobs. And 97% and of our graduates are working in the field. That means they're working in water and they're working across all different sectors you know, from, you know, academic settings to environmental protection agencies to industry to consulting firms. So you know, there's a real opportunity for here. Wherever you are in the political spectrum, private sector, public sector, I mean, I hope we all uh, appreciate inherently the value of, of clean rivers and streams. And so uh, I, we hope to see water as a unifying force and a unifying vision, uh, not only in Milwaukee, but uh, throughout communities on, on the Great Lakes. And, you know, as, as we experience climate change in the future and, you know, whole sections of the world are going to, you know, maybe less inhabitable. You know, we we hope people come back to the Midwest. Um, but when they do, we, you know, we have to be ready for that, and we have to have a, a really great water supply um, that's not degraded. But but we want to be restorative in how in our approach to the future. The Great Lakes regional economy is a six trillion dollar economy. You know, it's the third largest economy in the world. And so don't tell me we can't afford to do it. We can afford to do it. It just needs the will to do it. And I think I, I'm very encouraged. I see more and more people saying, yep, this is something that we should take care of. We should do the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative is sort of the initial down payment on that. But my feeling is that we should go from an initiative to a program. In other words, we shouldn't have to fight for this money every year. We should say, okay, we're going to do this program for the next 20, 30 years, whatever it takes so that someday we can say, okay, we've restored the system. You're not going to turn back the clock. The Great Lakes are never going to look like they did, you know, a hundred years ago. Those days are all gone. The ecosystem has changed. Everything has changed. Um, but we can make them so that we, you know, they're fishable, swimmable, drinkable. That's the standard. Uh, and that's what we're working on.